Um, just just the angle pair review since we've been gone for a week. Um, and I took out the pictures since you already have these already. I just put up the um, basic information. Complementary angles is angle A plus angle B, right? The two angles, you add them together, they have to equal 90. Supplementary angles are the two angles added together has to equal 180, right? Um, adjacent angles, well, they equal each other when the two angles are congruent. And we'll talk about that when we get to a picture of them. So how do I know if they're congruent or not, right? Um, uh, a linear pair um, forms a line. So A plus B equals 180. Um, and then vertical angles are two, our angles are formed when I cross lines and they share that vertical vertice um, and they're equal to each other. Okay, so that's how I mathematically I'm going to set up the problem when I'm when I'm doing the math. Okay, so the first set of angles I have, I can either call them supplementary or linear. It's the same, right? Because they form a line. Um, so that means I'm going to add the two together and they have to equal 180. So I'm going to say 4x plus 6 plus 126 has to equal 180. <sighs> Sorry, I can't breathe right now. It's really, really warm in here. Okay, yeah. so um, now I'm going to solve for this. So I've got 4x plus 126, um, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32... 132 equals 180. Okay, all I did was, in case you guys don't realize, I just took these two like terms and I added them together. Oh, yeah, I was going to add that. Okay. Yep. So the 6 and the 126 I added together and got 132. Okay, and now I need to separate. I need to get the 132 to the other side of the equal sign. So what do I do? Minus 132 from both sides, and I get 4x is going to equal uh, 180 minus 130. Is it 28? 48. 48. And then to solve for x, I'm going to divide by 4, and x equals 12. And that's it. Okay, once I get X done, I'm, I'm done. I don't have to do anything else. Get Siri. Okay. All right, so let's go to number two here. I think I got an example of each kind so you guys could see um, an example of each one. So this is a vertical angle. And vertical angles mean they're equal to each other. So this angle is congruent to this angle. So I'm going to write 12x plus 26 equals 62. Okay? Questions on that? Are we okay? Vertical angles are the same, so they're equal to each other. So now I'm just going to solve it just like on the first problem from here down, right? So I'm going to, that, that I don't have to do the first step. There's no like terms to combine. So I'm going to subtract 26 from both sides. And I'm going to get 12x is going to equal, it's going to be a 5, 36. And then to get the x by itself, I'm going to divide by 12. And x is going to equal 3. Questions? Okay. Then if we go to number three, number three are adjacent angles, right? 
And this little line here and this little line here mean that they're congruent. They're the same. So that's what I meant when I said the definition up here. We're gonna, I'm just going to scroll up here. A e angle A equals angle B when the angles are congruent. So if I have the little line saying that they're the same, that means they're congruent. So that means all I have to do is set them equal to each other. So that means I can write 4x minus 1 equals 35. And then I'm going to solve for it. So what do I do first? Add 1 to both sides. Beautiful. So I get 4x equals 36. Divide by 4. And x is going to equal 9. 9. Okay? And then for the last one... What do I know about these two angles? They're, they what? They're both, 90 They're both 90 degrees? Or the two of them equal 90 degrees? There we go. So they both equal 90 degrees. So I can write it this way. I can say 8x plus 9 plus 7x plus 6 equals 90. And then I want to combine my like terms together. Oh, oh dang. Hey, Christian, honey, I have the notes for you. Um, I combine my like, note, uh, like terms together. Right? Yeah, I do, sweetheart. You can just have it too. You don't have to give it back to me. There you go, hon. You. You're welcome. So my like terms are um, the 8x and the 7x are like terms. And then the 9 and the 6 are like terms. So I want to combine those together first just by doing what it says because they're on the same side of the equal sign. So 8x plus 7x is... Oops, sorry, I forgot to get the pin back and so the highlighter. There we go, 15x, and then 9 plus 6 is also 15, plus 15 equals 90. Okay, questions on that? Is everyone okay? Awesome. So now to solve, I'm going to subtract 15, and I get 15x equals... 75. Divide by 15. Very good. X equals 5. Okay? So just kind of a quick reminder. Not too bad, right? You kind of, 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 kind of remember a little bit. So if you go to the next page, you guys, there are, I don't know, eight problems for you guys to do.